Hello everyone, welcome back to Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a collection which holds the multiple requests. In order to create collection, there are several options. We can create connection, a collection using this new and the result drop down menu, click on that and click on the collection. That's the one way. The second option is on this collections tab, we can click on the new collection. Or the third option is on the launch pad, we can go to this create a collection and click that button. So let's go ahead and create our first new collection. Click on the collection. We need to provide the name to the collection. You can use alphanumeric or you can include the space as well if you would like to. I will name this collection as a sample collection. We can provide the details of this collection, what this collection is used for. I will provide the details here, something like this. This collection will be used for training purpose. In real time, the giving the name to the collection and describing will help for the different team members. There might be some testers in your project which are going to use this collection for the testing purpose only. Or there might be some collection which are created for performance testing only. So describing those collection will help the team members. Now the next thing is authorization. If your web service required authentication in order to execute the call, we need to provide the authentic authorization. For example, if you are using bas basic authorization such as username, password, then you need to select the basic authorization and provide the details. If you have any other kind of authorization, then you have to select appropriately. I will just select no authorization. If you have any script which you need to run before executing your call, you can provide as a pre-request script. There is a test tab also in order to test the functionalities. And if you need to use some of the variables during your call execution, but these variables are available only collection level. In previous lecture, we saw there are variables at the global and the environment level. And this is the narrow down the scope and these variables are available only for the collection. So what I'll do, I will just name here country as my variable. I will initialize the value with US and the current value will be populated. Or I will just mention country US as my variable. The other variable I will create country and mention IN that is for India and I'll initialize that value with IN and click create. So this will create a collection. On the left hand side we can see the collection is created. What are the actions we can perform on this collection? In order to see that we can click on these three dots and here are the options. We can assign the roles for this collection. So which can be managed to manage roles. We can rename the name of collection if we would like to do that. If you want to edit the collection, means the collection related properties, you have that option. If you would like to add a request under the collection or create a folder structure, it depends on your, how you would like to manage this whole collection. You can create those folders or requests. And then if you like to duplicate this collection so that you can work on uh, some for temporary work purpose, you can duplicate whole collection. And the last option is, uh, there are several options. The next option is the export. Export is, this will export the collection in the JSON format so that some other users can import if they are looking to import using this top the import option. There are other options such as monitoring collection, mock collection, published document, or 
if you would like to remove this full collection from this workspace this is my current workspace so this will get removed from my workspace and if you want to delete you can delete it also so these are the details available for your collection let's go ahead and create a one sample request i'll go ahead and click on the add request that's the one way or right click on this collection and click on the add request this is the simple way to create a request let's name sample request you can provide a description and click on the save sample save sample to collection so this is what the request got created this way we learn how to create a collection in next lecture we are going to learn what are the different types of methods and we are going to have a demo using one of the real time web service so see you in the next lecture thank you